Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how you can grow your own little jade plant as I've done here with this one just from taking a cutting. So here is a nice example of a jade plant growing on a roof garden in Mexico. Jade plants can make great decorative house plants. Um, they're a type of succulent and they're native to South Africa. So here is one growing in a Chinese takeaway and this is the one I'm going to be taking the cutting from. You can see that it has some roots growing there, air roots, and these are possibly caused by a lack of water in the soil or nutrients, but that's not a problem. So here I've taken my cutting, I've just snapped off a piece, and I've waited two weeks for the end of the cutting to dry out, and that will prevent any rot when it goes into the soil. So now to uh, pot up this cutting, I've got a pot of grit. I'm using the grit because it's very free draining um, and also because it's very soft and it will allow the roots to grow freely inside it. So what I'm gonna do is remove most of these lower leaves and that will give me a longer piece of stem to put under the ground and therefore there'll be more room for roots to develop. So now I'm just gonna fill up a small pot with some of this grit. This is a great way of doing it, especially in colder months if you live in a cold climate because um, it's very free draining in grit and uh, if you do it in water, you run the chance of rotting the cutting especially in the colder months when the water might be cold. So now I'm just tapping down the grit into the pot. So now I can leave it on the windowsill and hopefully it will grow some roots. Here is a quick update of the jade plant you can see it started to grow two new leaves at the top and it's growing some more little leaves down here so it's doing okay it's still alive it's been about three weeks now um, I'll check the root development in another couple of weeks for now I'm gonna let it keep growing and establishing and in another week or so we'll have a look at the root development So now it's been in the pot of grit for about two months or so, very soft grit. So I'm just gonna, I've just lifted it. I'm just gonna show you the root development so far. So it's just been kept on the windowsill. Knock off some of this grit. And you can see here, there's loads of roots developing all the way along the area that was underneath the grit from here all the way down. There you have it. Now that is ready to pot up into um, some soil so that the roots can get some nutrients now. So because the grit is all soft, it's allowed all these roots to, to grow, just kind of similar to if you put it in a jar of water, but um, this way it keeps everything dry so this doesn't rot, this stem at the bottom. So I'd say that was a success. So I've just washed off the roots so that you can get a better look. And you can see there's loads of roots there ready for it to be potted up. And you can see that if you keep um, a longer stem under the ground um, with a cutting, you get more roots. So the longer the stem under the ground, the more roots you should get. Right, so to pot up the this plant, I'm going to use um, a combination of grit and some of these cocoa qua compost discs. This is like um, a dehydrated compost made out of coconut. And um, I have a video about this and I'll leave a link in the description box below to that video if um, you're not familiar with this type of compost. So all I need to do is add the discs 
to some water and that will hydrate them. So I'll leave that in the water for a while and come back when it's soaked up all the water and then I'm going to mix that with some grit to pot up the plant. So that is um, ready to go now. The coconut coir has taken on all of the moisture. You can see it's expanded and turned into a nice loose compost. You can use um, all sorts of different types of mixes for this potting mix but what I'm looking to do is to get something that's light so that the roots can grow in it and something that drains well. So this, uh, I'm going to now use that original grit that I used in the beginning for the cutting and add that in and mix that up. So that will allow for the cutting through the colder months, through the winter, um, to have good drainage and somewhere for it to develop its roots ready for late spring, summer, for you to pot it on and uh, for it to continue to grow. Now then to pot up this jade plant cutting, here it is. I'm just going to add a bit of tissue to the bottom of the pot first just to stop any bits falling out the holes. You can use cardboard, newspaper, it doesn't really matter. So now I've got that mixture of the uh, coconut coir and grit. I'm going to add that to the pot. These plants don't need excessive amounts of um, fertilizer or rich soil. They, uh, they get a lot of their nutrients from the air and the sun, moisture in the air. They just need a medium to grow in, a bit like a cactus really. So there's plenty of room in this pot for the roots to continue to grow. And now we can just lay the cutting over this saw. I'm just going to push it down slightly. Can have it a bit higher up. Just need to lay it on top and I'm going to cover it with some more soil. So now that is done, I'm just going to add some of the original grit to the surface of the pot and that will help to prevent moisture loss from the surface of the soil, especially with it being indoors. And the grit also prevents bugs like little flies from laying eggs in the soil and starting to like live in there. I've had problems with that in the past. The grit seems to keep them at bay, makes it a bit more difficult for them to lay their eggs and get into the soil because the grit has lots of sharp edges on it. I can now leave this jade plant on the windowsill to continue to grow. Don't need to water it for a while because the, the coconut coir took on all the moisture as you saw earlier. I uh, might give it a watering in a week or so, depending on how dry the soil is. But it should have plenty of room now for the roots to develop ready for late spring, early summer time. Okay, so that's about it for this video. That's how you can grow a jade plant from a cutting using grit. And you can do that through the winter time as well if you live in colder areas like I've done. I'm going to keep this now in its pot through the winter time. And then in the summertime, I might repot it and it should grow just fine in here. So if you did find the video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more gardening and DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.